Right, hello and welcome to Raw the Pack Tower Lab. Because as you know, a couple of weeks ago we found this Macintosh SE in the rubbish at work. We recovered it, and if you saw my prior video, oh excuse me, just set a sausage roll. Uh, we found that it boots up perfectly. The only problem is it doesn't have a keyboard or mouse. So Andy Taylor, who is on uh, Facebook and YouTube, links below. He's also involved in a computer museum, links below. Uh, said he's got some spare kit and he'd send it me out. And all he wanted for it was cost of postage. So I'm going to have to move this to the side because I can't fit all this in. So the package has arrived. It's possibly upside down, the address is on the other side, but it looks like it opens this way, so not sure, we'll find out as we go. Now, a little bit of a wine first. No, that's not wine, that's Irish cream. I think I'll pour some Irish cream while I'm doing this. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Mm. You see, because of TNT, which is a delivery company, Yes, you probably know them in America. I don't know if they trade in America, but probably. Because of TNT, I am not drinking tea in this video. I'm drinking Irish cream because they were supposed to deliver this in the day. This was booked for next day delivery. And got a message around midday to say that the driver had hit his, the limit on the hours he can work and therefore the parcel wasn't getting delivered till Monday when it's supposed to be delivered on a Friday bastards so I've had to go down to the warehouse and retrieve it myself now that's just not on TNT don't mind if your drivers are ill but that's just bad logistical planning which you don't expect when you've paid for it to be delivered the next day and they just don't give a shite when you go down there <coughs> Modern companies. Anyway, enough moaning. Let's get on with this. First of all, before that, I'm going to show you what I shall look like at replay for those going. This is my t-shirt. This is a sneak preview. This has been handmade for me. It's taken a while to come because of that reason. But, there we go. That's my t-shirt I shall be wearing at replay. And, as you can see, the mainframe, 12 years until Pong, 1960, so yes, that suits my character and the sort of stuff I do. <laughs> Covers the mainframe and the gaming side of it, so yes, good idea that. Wifey ordered me that while I was at work, so thanks to Wifey, <coughs> aka the pink fluffy monk. And uh, I think I can hear a coming up the stairs actually, possibly armed with a cup of tea. Now, tea and tea. Total Nightmare Trades Transporters. Total Nightmare Transporters. Total Nightmare tra uh, Let me show on camera what I'm being shown here by the pink fluffy monk. I think she's trying to make up names for TNT. There we go. So you are now known as Total Nightmare Transporters. Hey! Yay! Right. Okay. So I'm lucky this surprise this uh, arrived in this condition because there was a guy there who was not happy with the condition of the parcel that was there for him. Yeah, so, okay, Andy has left us a few puzzles here on how to get in this, so, mm-hmm, now you have to be back. Hang on, let's see how this all goes. Right, okay, it doesn't open up on the sides. No, it doesn't. So we're going to have to slide stuff out as it comes. So, it said it'd stick. I know that some of the stuff he's put in, so uh, let's grab stuff and see what we've got. First of all, <laughs> bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap, as you may know. Bit of a bubble wrap fetishist. Oh yeah. Plenty of bubble wrap. I love you, Andy. No, don't really. Not that way. <laughs> okay, what, what is this? Oh, this is... That's the power supply. Come on. 
that's a power supply that is a uh, serial cable do 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 I think I'm not sure how to set these up yet and that is two cartridges for a zip drive uh, for getting games transferred to the system so uh, I'm not sure how to use these before because I've not used SCSI but I think uh, there are some systems coming that are armed with SCSI so we have to get this working I'm going to throw this back out of there uh, so yes this is one plan to get information onto it Wifey has never seen a SCSI card a SCSI zip cartridge that is a, a SCSI thing Floppy disk. Yeah, very expensive floppy disk they were. Diff quite different. Hold quite a bit of information. I like 250 megabytes, I think. Thank you. And they're used for backing things up. Okay. Sorry? Oh, yes. Hmm, uh, nice. Yes, Wifey has now claimed. The the Wifey has now claimed the bubble wrap. So let's see what's in here. Oh. Aha! few other things he said he was going to stick in here. These are... Wait, that's nice. Ooh. Floppy disks. Well, floppy disks Macintosh style, I think. Do they go in? Hmm. I do not know. Do they go into Macintosh? Or does the Macintosh have to be powered for this? We shall look in a moment. Yeah. But... And we've got all sorts of <coughs> backup <coughs> stuff here. Yes, yeah, definitely <coughs> backup <coughs> stuff. So there's loads of empty <coughs> backup <coughs> discs here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's Macintosh format because I've never used a Mac before, but it looks like it. And maybe this didn't need power to let them in. I do not know, not having used one before. Okay. Aha! Eek! Never have a look at this show. Yep, she's gone downstairs. That is the zip drive itself. Eek. Scary stuff. And apparently I can use this, connect it to the PC, put the stuff on there, and then it will connect uh, to this bugger somehow. And I can use it to transfer stuff. Oh yeah, there's a scuzzy scuzzy port on the back of there you can use it to transfer it. We have some computers coming at replay that will have scuzzy connectors I think so we can use it that way to do that. Well that's a zip drive yeah, it'll be interesting to see these as a feature on their own because uh, I've never actually used one before never actually seen one I knew all about them in the 90s I'd heard of them, I knew people used them, but I'd never actually come across one myself, so that'd be interesting from a technological standpoint. This, <laughs> thanks Andy, this <laughs> extremely long thing is for another video. This is the special screwdriver with the special tip that you need to get into, is it going to focus it? Yeah just about. That's what you need to get into an Apple Macintosh. There we go. Special tip. So uh, he sent me that so I can get in. Because with these things I'm pointing at just off the screen, you need to check the battery because I have a bad habit of exploding and destroying the motherboard. So you need one of them. Now, so thanks again Andy. Oh god under here, hiding away. It is a second one. Oh, a USB one. Hmm. So, I get this. I can use a USB connection to connect this to the PC, hopefully. Uh, transfer them onto the disks, put the disks onto the other system, transfer it onto the Mac. Wifey? What? You've never seen a zip drive before, have you? There's two here if you want to have a look. Yeah. Uh, so that's how we're going to be transferring them 
software across. Oh, I, I hear the monk approaching. Uh, and the green woolly monk today. Green woolly monk. There's one for the laptop that will talk to the laptop USB. Right. And then that one will talk to the Macintosh. It's got a SCSI cable on it. There's the zip drives. Yeah. Yes. She's looking at them fascinatedly because she's never seen them before. As has it? Neither have I. So, what do you think? She's happy. I'm a geek. That will keep her. <coughs> Going on for a bit. Excuse the mess in here. Still haven't had a chance to clean this up properly. Right, next! Sorry? I'm not taking them apart. How do they work? <laughs> it's my job. Uh, right, obviously we didn't have a mouse for the apple, so there's a mouse suitable for it. And uh, is that it? That might be. That must be the serial cables on about. Uh, let me know. I think it is. It's an apple serial cable. Not sure. So and. And finally, doo -doo 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 -doo, an Apple keyboard for me to switch it on and control it. So, thank you very much, Andy. So, what we're going to do next? How long is this video? 12 minutes. I think we'll split this into two. Shall we split this into two or one? Now let's do this as a single. What I'm going to do, I'm going to connect these together and we'll actually explore this Mac that we haven't seen. We've seen it boot up, we haven't seen the contents. So, I'm going to connect this lot up and I'll be right back. Okay, there's our keyboard and mouse, both working. Uh, and he had tested them before he sent them out. So, they're working anyway, but I can confirm they're working with this system. I'll boot it up. Uh, taking the control screen uh, Thing off that was on it and if we can zoom in sorry about the flickering but there is oh yeah screensaver there is nothing I can do about that now first of all I have to admit to being a numpty because the discs that came are for the Amstrad CPC 6128 I thought they looked like the discs uh, but being coming with the Macintosh, I thought, oh, it might be Macintosh discs, but they're not me, stupid. Me, idiot. <laughs> so, thanks very much, Andy. I've just quadrupled the amount of stuff I've got for the Amstrad. So, anyway, I've got a cup of tea now as well. Nice. I thought we'd have a quick look around this system. This is my first look around this system. And what we'll do in future videos, uh, I'll do one stripping it down to do, check the battery and uh, we'll look at swapping files onto it using the discs there. So, first of all, let's have a look around this, now, this system. Now, I have to admit, I have never used this operating system before, so this is a first for me. And once again, I apologise for the flickering. That's unavoidable. I may have to cut it out because this has come from a research place and there may be stuff on here they do not want to see. So, imagine I just double click. Ooh, yes, chemicals. Ooh, somebody did not clear their hard drive down. Uh, yes. So it looks like there is. How do I open it? Ah, there we go. Mono subsidized Halo, Microsoft Word. Right, I'm not going to go into this because this is all research stuff and uh, not for public viewing. I will obviously remove this myself. Got Mac formula. So look at this. Average mass, exact mass. Oh, okay. Enter. Milligrams. Uh, 500 milligrams. Calculate now. Enter formula. Oh, I'll go into. Oh, it makes funny noises. We know the volume works. <laughs> right, where's the control panel? I know. Uh, okay, just get rid of that. Right, okay. What's this? I'll have to hold them down. 
Okay, uh, control panel. Let's turn this volume up as much as we can. Speaker volume. Okay, it's right up. Ah, right, so they don't go hugely loud. Uh, keyboard, mouse, what's that? Oh, screen saver. Okay. Then shape speed. Is that the only one that uh, they have? What else have we got? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Bit of fun there. Uh, right, general. So, desktop pattern. Uh, 768k of RAM in the cache. Keyboard. Uh, let's see, what's this do? I don't know. Anything? No, it's just the repeat rate and that. And uh, mouse controllers. Does it have a mouse tracking? So we can use a tablet, a mouse, uh, change the speed, use the double, change the double clicking. So, okay. Oh, there's more options down here. It's easy. I find it's already found me. Pining. It's easier just to drag it down there. Sound. Uh, monkey. Although it sounds a monkey. Okay. Uh, so I have some proper sound stuff in here. Big Ben. He's looking at you, kid. Can I preview it? He's looking at you, kid. Oh, okay. I hope you don't mind me just having a play around here. Thank you. You're welcome. Whoa, that's horny. <coughs> that's not horny. <laughs> no. Shut down sound. Goodbye. Goodbye. So you've got loads of different options here. Quite impressed. As I said, never used this before. Didn't even know it's capable of doing stuff like this. Okay, so that's interesting. Startup device. Uh, no, it's just I'll not play with that. Okay, so that's the control panel. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, multi finder file. Uh, edit. More uh, special uh, clean up desktop. Let's just clean up desktop. Okay, didn't do much. So, we, so we got that, Mac Pro, uh, whatever this is, this is going to be some professional stuff when it gets here, 1991. Okay, ooh, hello, what are you then? Session 1 closed, okay, this is some sort of, uh, hmm, some sort of browser. Yes. That could be interesting. I wonder if you can still use this. I'm sure somebody knows and will hopefully buy an X modem. Hopefully leave me some comments below on how to use this and get it going. Oh I am so sorry about that flickering. Uh oh. I, oh. oh yes, there's a terminal there, the uh, deck VT220 emulating. Okay, right, so that's that stuff. No, go away. Oh, oh dear. Uh, quit. Hey, okay. Uh, a word. Not the best title thing of a word. That's truly inspirational. Have a nice day. Okay, 1989. Um, yeah, word processor. Standard stuff. But, as you can see, this computer works wonderfully. And there's no bad smells or anything coming from it. Yep, all standard stuff there. So, uh, quit. No, don't want to save anything. I want to go back to the desktop. Okay, and... Oh, let's see. Nothing in the trash. So... Uh, we're going to get some software for this and use these zip drives to transfer it off of the laptop. Possibly the serial cable as well. Uh, but you've got to look more into that because uh, 
yes. Uh, not sure what to do with that. But we can use the drives to get some games and stuff onto here. The only problem is we're going to have this flashing if we're doing games. But let me know if you're happy to watch games with that flashing. And um, I shall do games. So that's the parcel. It's very nice and very much appreciated there, Mr. Andy. And uh, yes. If I find anything else interesting, oh, an alarm clock. Have your Macintosh wake you up in the morning. Hmm. Okay. I'm on your way, am I there? No. Okay, so let's shut her down. Do, do, do. Somewhere here? No, special. Special? <laughs> yeah, shutting down is special. This is different. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to shut down. So I'm assuming from this point you can just switch it off at the back. What's it doing? Telling me to wait. Okay, I'll keep the camera roll because I've never seen anything like this before. I think this is now... Oh, it's doing something else. The fans have changed speed. I don't know what it's doing. Is it now safe to shut down? Not used one before, but I imagine so. And if I want to start it up again, can I just hit the key to do that? It is still talking to the keyboard, so. There's some special keyboard up here on these Macs, so I do not know. Ah! Okay. If I touch the mouse, it wakes back up. That's, uh, that's the Mac way of doing things. Okay. And there she goes, booting up again. Hmm. So Macs... So it's, it's just like a standby mode, but with the monitor still on. It's unusual, I've not seen that before. Being a PC user, that's different. Okay, I'll we'll do, we'll shut it down again. And, uh, uh Special. Shut down. Okay, that's the Mac way of doing things. So, thank you uh, very much, Andy. And, uh, yes, we'll get some games onto this and have a look. Uh, we'll do a, a program on transferring and another one on uh, checking the motherboard for batteries. So, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>